Hey everybody, welcome back to Movie Stalkers. I'm your host Francis Bow, and I finally saw Mad Max Fury Road. It came out two weeks ago on DVD slash Blu-ray and digital download, and I'm here to review it for you guys because not better late than ever. So, Mad Max Fury Road is directed by George Miller. It stars Tom Hardy and a bunch of other people that I have forgotten already. So, I'm going to tell you guys my positives, my negatives, and my overall feeling of this movie. So, for the first positive about this film is it is amazing. It is, it is a great film. It does a great job just being a film. That's, that's the, pretty much the preference that you get for this, for this movie. It's great because it was made into a film. The designs, the layout, the overall feels, it just feels awesome great to watch this film and it definitely 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 is the approach that everyone was hoping for and definitely something that does a great job tom hardy playing max is perfect he did a great job and <laughs> i just love this film dude that's that's how much i can't there's no words that there's not that many words to describe it and speaking of not that many words throughout the film they didn't really talk this much which I found was very, very interesting. They didn't really have as much dialogue. It was more focused on the cards with the action scenes. And I love that aspect. I love that they focus more on the cards and how that they, all the fights that they had. The fights and then with the car scenes, they were absolutely beautiful. They did a great job painting out what these things can do. And they did a great job overall. I love the car that had the, that giant guitar system and giant speakers in the background. That just blew me away when I saw that. And they have like cars combined with other cars. Got a truck combined with a monster truck. You got like trucks with like spikes on them. Um, it is. It, they did a great job with the designs, and they did an overall fantastic job when it came to these cars and the vehicles. Um, the acting, I don't. I do right. Right. Yeah. I like. I like the the acting. I like the acting in this film. But, when we get to the negatives, I'll talk more about the acting. But, as I said, the cars, the designs, the layout of this film, the way it was made, the way it was shot, everything about that, that I said at, to this point, has been amazing to put in this film. That is the best thing about this film. The designs and the layout. That's pretty much the two things that you need to know when you go into this film. Expect great cars and expect a great layout and that's what all you get. Um, now for some negatives and yes there is a as great as this film is there is a little bit of negative. The first negative I gotta give is that the acting is it's decent I mean it's not the best acting that I've seen in a film but it's just it's so it's good I mean it's it fits. Um, there are some times where I wish that the supporting characters did not show up. For example, we had uh, all these ladies. Um, some of them just had to go. They didn't even work. Like Rosie Huntington, Whitley, uh, look, you're a beautiful woman, okay? Uh, Victoria's Secret model, you're a beautiful woman. I liked you in Transformers Dark of the Moon, but I'm sorry, you, you had to go for a little bit. I mean, you didn't really do anything for us. I mean, nothing really benefited for you. Um, I will say this though, I liked the villain. The villain of Mad Max Fury Road was good. I liked it. Um, just wish he had a little bit more screen time, but it was still it was still good. I liked his, his acting. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Tom Hardy did not have much things to say. That's for everybody. Everybody didn't have a lot to say in this film. It was more of a quiet film when it came to voices, but when it came to cars and everything, you could you can obviously hear the cars and stuff like that, but when it came to acting, you didn't really hear much dialogue. So that I understand and don't understand, but you know what? If 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 it was if if that was the case, to give us this spectacular film, then I'm fine. You can not talk at all. Um, yeah. Overall, Mad Max: Fury Road was a great film. It did a great job showing us how how George Miller can just paint a great picture. He showed us how much he can just bring this franchise to life. It was a great comeback for the franchise. Very, very well done. And overall, a fantastic film. I'm giving this film, and yeah, I'm going to give this film a 9.4 out of 10. And I believe that is higher than Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. 
Now, does that mean that this film is my favorite of the year? We'll see. When a Mission Impossible Rogue Nation comes out on DVD or Blu-ray, I will do a versus with these films because I want to give you guys my overall opinions about those two films and give you my overall facts on which one is the best film this year. So, so that's it. What do you guys think of Mad Max Fury Road? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was bad? And don't forget to support Sage Creek. And I know that my camera just went berserk for a minute, but there you go. So support Sage Creek's Twitter page, Instagram, and Facebook page. I'll leave all the links in the description below. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And in my next video, we're going to talk about Masterpiece Shockwave. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Movie Stalkers. I stalk movies so I can talk about them. See you next time. Adios.